So it would appear that a weekly vlog takes a little bit more preparation than I had anticipated. Those stairs are every bit as steep as they look. Also, I have a sofa. I mean, I don't, I don't actually have the sofa now, but yesterday I found the sofa that I'm gonna get for the viewing area downstairs. That's gonna go downstairs. Uh, we're upstairs in a minute because downstairs is a mess and that is something that I wanted to briefly talk about. So, like last week I had a point where I sort of had a mini meltdown last week um, and it all just came down to living and working in a really messy office, which sounds mental when you think about it, but like it really affected my mood. So basically, like the way my mind works is that I, if I've got like a hundred things to do, instead of starting at number one and working my way through to number 100, like, uh, you know, you would expect a normal person to do, um, I, I constantly think about all 100 things all of the time, whether I'm working on number one or number 20 or number 100, I'm always thinking about all 100 things. It's just how my mind seems to work. And that's fine, like I'm used to that. Um, but I think having that coupled with having a really messy environment, like it's a bit of a disaster zone in here at the minute and it has been for the last couple of weeks and I knew that was gonna be the case. But like, it just really affected my mood. At one point last week, I just had this weird sort of mini meltdown of being like, oh my God, what am I doing here? What, what is this? Like, why have I chosen to do this, etc., etc." And it's for like one day, you know, like we all have those times. But weirdly, I think it was actually kind of useful because it gave me something to draw contrast from. And it allowed me to like, the, the next day when like I bounced back and everything seemed cool and normal again, um, it allowed me to sort of take a step back and ask myself what was going on like what what was i so upset about like what was what was weighing me down so much and like and it made me think like i really just need to own my decisions right because like none of this like yeah i'm, I'm living and working in like quite a messy environment at the minute while like all this stuff's going on but it's my own decision like this whole process is my own decision so I didn't get fired from my last job, I, like, far from it. I chose to leave, I planned to leave, I planned to build a business. I spent a few years putting this whole plan together. I then realized that I wouldn't be able to work super efficiently from home because like I've got a family, like I've got an adorable little girl and a wife and we're all like, we're a happy little family, but running a business from home would be insane, so I decided I needed an office. Again, my decision. So like, I found this office after loads of searching, thought I would never find like this place. Perfect, super creaky, and like just a little bit rough around the edges. It has an amazing ambience and atmosphere to it. Made the decision, again, to like tear parts of it down, repaint it all, put like a whole uh, new partition wall up, like soundproof and everything else, but the point is, all of this delays the process of me actually having a functioning, normal office. But it's my decision. It's all my decision. And it's all for the greater good. So like, I'm building this business with a long-term goal. Um, I've made the decision to make this office, you know, take it from something that was, you know, it was, it was all right. Um, and to make it into something that's amazing. Like I want this to be a creative, inspirational space that I turn up to every single day. And I'm just like, oh yes, this is an amazing place to be. And that's what it will be. 
But anyway, yeah, it, it made me sort of realize that I want all this stuff. None of it comes for free. I knew none of it comes for free. The information is out there. There's enough podcasts and vlogs and like videos on YouTube and everything else about successful entrepreneurs and like really inspirational, motivational people saying, hey, if you want something, you gotta work for it. You gotta really work hard for it. So I know that, like we all know that. It's not, a, it's, it doesn't come as any surprise on news. But when you're actually doing it, it's just a little bit different. Um, and it sort of reminds me of, of when we had our little girl, um, like three years ago. Because every parent that I knew, like told me like over a beer at the bar or whatever, like took great pride in telling me like, dude, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. This is gonna turn your whole life upside down. It's the best thing you'll ever do, but your whole life is gonna get turned upside down. And, and I was sort of like, thanks, not me though. I've got this locked down. All that's gonna happen is we're gonna continue exactly as we were, but we're gonna have this tiny little person with us. Perfect. Uh, turns out they were right, I was wrong. Um, it did turn my life upside down, and it, it, it is, and was, and is, the best thing without a shadow of a doubt that I've ever done. It's the best. But yeah, it totally changed my life. Um, and similarly, like, so many people gave me advice about starting a business and about how hard it was going to be and about how you know it, it is the most rewarding thing and everything else is, is amazing it's this it's that but it is really hard it's really challenging um, and again I sort of naively picked up on the good stuff this is going to be amazing it's going to be rewarding it's going to be this it's going to be that but the challenging parts the tough parts like I'll sort of ride it out it'll be fine it's been a little bit harder than I'd anticipated, if I'm honest. But it has been a useful experience, and it's allowed me, if nothing else, the opportunity to sort of take a step back and really appreciate everything that I've got, because all this stuff is good stuff. It's a, it's a proper first world problem, right? Like, I've got an office space, as well as a house, and a loving family. Um, I'm surrounded by people who I love and care for, and who love and care for me. I'm building a business, around something that I'm passionate about and I love. And the office is a bit of a mess at the minute. Like, what, why is that even a problem? Um, so yeah, it was, it was a, it's been, it's been good, like, to be honest with you. Like, the, the, the last week has been good. There's been some amazing things that have happened as well last week that I can't, I can't go into yet. I will discuss them in time. It's gonna be a little while before a couple of these things are really ironed out and I can actually sort of go public about them. Um, but there's there's a few discussions happening with a few different people at the minute that, that are really interesting um, and potentially very exciting. So yeah, last week, very, very good week. One bad day gave me some perspective to step back and truly appreciate everything that I have. Um, if any of that makes sense, I've no idea if any of that has made sense at all. Um, if it hasn't, then... Hmm. If it has, then great. So anyway, that's about it. Next week, hopefully, I'll, uh, I'll be starting this, this vlog by saying, it's finished. Downstairs is finished. Um, it's not impossible that that won't happen, but that's what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for downstairs to be at least like 90% finished and livable. So watch this space and we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, and that's it. Until next week, have fun and do something that you really love. Take care. Bye.